Hey Ross, sauce it up. Rain, rain, call it number four. Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the Van channel. Today I am going to teach you guys how to um make a good montage. So I'm not gonna edit an entire montage, I'm gonna edit one singular clip. So I have downloaded a clip here. This is the clip. I'll clip it to the end. Oh. Right here. Alright. So that isn't my clip. I actually downloaded that clip from the from a um clip drive. So yeah. So you wanna put in your clip and you wanna um put in your music. I'm gonna be using I'm looking for it. Stone Cold by Rarin. So you just put in your clips and your and your audio. So now what you wanna do is look for the beat drop. So thing It's about like here, so let me check it. Hey Ross, sauce it up. Right there. So I'm gonna split it right there. And then And now all you have to do is just split this and cut it. Okay, so now you've done with our clip. Is that looks like? Hey Ross, sauce it up. Rain, rain. So that's what it looks like, but I kind of don't like the length of the clip. It's a bit too long. So right here, I'm gonna split, split, and I'm gonna cut, cut. Okay, so now the clip's a bit shorter. Hey Ross, sauce it up. Right. Okay, so okay, so yeah. the B drop is at this part. If you want right. to know where your B drop is, go past the split and then click this. So now you're perfectly at your B drop. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna split it right here. I'm gonna go back as much. I'm gonna split it, split it right here. Sauce it up. Right here. Split. Okay, I'm not gonna put it there. Actually, I'm just gonna. Okay, put this to slow it down. So change speed. I'm gonna make it to. 70 0.70 gonna change this speed and I'm gonna make it to um, one point to, I'm gonna make it to 1.99 it still looks the same okay that kind of didn't work so um since it didn't work I'm gonna cut out this and I'm, let me just pull it to get the clip back now I'm gonna have to split it back here. Uh, right there. So wait, I need to pause this real quick. All right. So this is how it's supposed to look like. So, like right here. I'm gonna. Lit it, and here's what I'm gonna speed it up. So change speed. I'm gonna make it to zero point. I'm gonna make it to one point nine one because I feel like that works better. Uh, right, right. But then it makes the clip like you know, so makes it a bit too fast, and then comes two clips. Split it back there again. So right here, I'm going to split it again. Go to effects in the top left, and then search. Oop. 
search for glow. This is all free, by the way. And just put it in the shoot. Give, it up. Give like a glow effect. And then here I'm going to change the speed. Make it to 0 0.70. Okay, you know I'm going to edit the music as well. Hey Ross, sauce it up. So that's it. So this is where I jump. So right here, I'm going to um add an effect to this. So the effect that I feel like goes good with this is the um binoculars. So take the binoculars, put it at this thing. So this is how the clip looks, but it won't be like Sauce it up. laggy here because Da Vinci always lags like that. I don't know why. So now since we're done with the clip, I think it's time for the motion blur. So motion blur just makes your montage look way cleaner. So um the way you do motion blur is like Okay, so go to the fusion fusion tab. Okay, make sure you you have your clips highlighted. You're gonna have to highlight it one by one. So I'm gonna highlight the first clip. And then I'm gonna go to fusion. And then make sure to click control and space at the same time, like that. And this should pop up. So now you search up, up, search up motion blur, and you see vector motion blur. Click that, and then click add. If it didn't work, um, do it again. Okay, so now it's here. Okay, so now what you do is hold shift, and then you can drag this around. Put it like, see the parts yellow and blue. Make sure the blue is on the right, and then it's like a little bit past the blue, and it's like right in the middle, low like that, and then. The next thing you want to do is search up for optical flow. Optical flow, add, and then you want to do the same thing. But this time, make sure the, the blue's on the right again, and it's like right in the middle. And boom, we have it. So now, as you can see at the top, it's like blurry. It's like motion blur. So, and then you want to do this for each clip. So, yeah, all the clips have it now, I think. Sauce to see how much it lags it destroys my computer so um that's about it if you want to add text you can go here i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull in a cinematic real quick of maybe the bridge maybe this pull it in oh let me bring up the media pool so um, i'm gonna put it in the back here so it's gonna go as far as the music goes. I'm gonna do it right here. So split, cut, cut. Okay. So now right here, what's gonna happen is you're gonna go to the edit tab, and then you're gonna put in whatever you want. So what I'm gonna put is um, this is my favorite one to use. So you wanna s type in draw on draw and then you see draw on to draw on um draw on okay i can't find it for some reason okay you should be able to scroll down and then you see draw on some stuff but yeah sometimes i like to use digital glitch so pull in that digital glitch and then you see the text you make sure you have clicked it and then at the top you can change it so the text i'm gonna put high lights one okay so put highlights one and it should look like this okay so there's a sample down there that just delete this so it should look like that so um that's basically it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and render this and I'm going to show you guys how it looks like. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Okay, so I ended it just now. So, I'm sorry for doing that because I need to show you guys how to render this. So, what you do is go to custom. Make sure it's on resolution 1920 by 1080. I would explain this, but it make the video longer. So, you can upload it directly to YouTube. Upload directly to Vimeo, Twitter, and whatever this is. Okay, custom. But you want to keep it at custom. So you can see it first. So make it a 1920 by 1080. 
I would recommend. I usually go above my thing. Today it's 720 by 1080p. But then I want it to be 1080p. So I'm going to make it 1080p. It's not 60 FPS because the clip is in 59 FPS. So that's what it'll be. But it'll still be smooth, you know. Just 0 0.06 FPS difference. So now you click add to render queue. Then you name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Da Vinci tutorial and I'm going to save it it says warning yeah is that if you want to keep it above your timeline resolution and then you just click render all and then it will start rendering so depending on like how good your PC is this might take a while so yeah I'll see you guys when it's done all right so guys so it's done rendering as you can see completed in three minutes and 39 seconds that's for my pc for yours it might be different so now what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to play the video for y'all so yeah see you guys after the video hey ross sauce it up rain rain calling on the phone